Ja, und damit willkommen zurück bei The Walking Dead, Season 3. Dann schauen wir mal, was uns hier im Prescott erwartet. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time though. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just I know what people are capable of. Hey, Javi. What's what's up? My family. They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I'm sure you know they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez, I haven't been in a place like this since. Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Ja, dann schauen wir uns doch mal hier ein bisschen um. Looks like someone's in the middle of a game. I wonder where they found this old thing. I haven't seen one of these in years. Phantom Punch, genau. Hätte man ja ruhig mal eine Runde spielen, ne? Chess. Not really my game. I think Gabe used to play, though. Wonder if it's loaded. Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Ja, dann schauen wir doch mal, ob hier ein bisschen Smalltalk drin ist. Excuse me. Oh, you again. You got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> And that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. Hm. Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place. I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Good looking hand there. But not good looking enough. God damn it. Shit, sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Bottle it up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire! 
He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to it. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, Unfucking believable. Look out! Ja, scheinbar sind wir hier doch der Bodyguard. Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You've got to get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Oops. He attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Ähm, ja, eigentlich habe ich ja gerade noch gesagt, wir wollten ehrlich bleiben, aber wir haben ja eine gewisse Verbundenheit. Dann haben wir die selber großgezogen, sage ich jetzt mal. Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey, thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. <sighs> I've never understood it. Oh, I'm not a troublemaker. No, trouble sees me and runs the other way. That explains why Trip locked you up for the night. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? that they were arguing, and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help, 
Well, not that I have much to offer you, but I know a thing or two about losing family. I wouldn't want to make any trouble for you. This whole thing's been pretty messy. I hear you, but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they could need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. It's too risky, and if Muertos were to somehow surround us, we... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had a dinner. Yeah, she's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. Ja, was machen wir denn? Ich würde ja fast sagen, dass es in der Früh besser ist. A, weil es hell ist und B, weil die Herde vielleicht weg ist. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. I'm sorry. I know it sucks. I'm... I haven't been sleeping well lately. I've noticed. So many people died here. So many ghosts. Sometimes they're all I think about. Especially during the night. Hey, look, Goofball. It's you. Alvin Goofball Jr. Can you say Goofball? You know, he does need a middle name. His parents, they never got a chance. You think? Go on. Pick one. No time like the present. How about Lee? He would have loved this little guy. I was just thinking Jamie was pretty cool. For a boy or a girl. Jamie? That was your sister? Yeah. I used to think that if I was ever... picking out names, I'd... Anyway, the deal was ink first, then a perimeter sweep. But I just checked it a few days ago. We're on our own here, Clem. And after that asshole family we let in made off with half our food, we can't take any more chances. It won't take long. They seem nice. Nice enough. Nice people get hungry too. And then suddenly, 
they're not so nice anymore. So get to it. I want you to be prepared. For anything. I know. I'm gonna go take a little nap. I'm, uh... Not feeling that great. Ja, dann wissen wir jetzt also auch, was da an dem Supermarkt passiert ist. Wir hätten die also doch nicht reinlassen sollen. Jane? If you're not feeling well, I can bring you something. Ja, ich habe es ja in Season 2 schon mal gesagt, am besten wäre gewesen, wir wären einfach alleine weitergezogen. So musste sie jetzt nochmal jemanden erschießen. Hey Clem, we almost there. Hey. Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Makes a guy wonder, you know? You know there's not much mystery to a trip. She's a good human being. Yeah, Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. Guys, that's the place. Oh, shit. What a mess. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Ja, das sieht ja mal nicht so ganz gut aus. Ähm, aber vielleicht haben sie sich ja wirklich irgendwo verstecken können. Würde ich sagen, den Schrottplatz nehmen wir uns in der nächsten Folge vor. Ich sage wie immer Danke fürs Zuschauen. Und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.